Good morning, everybody. This is Tony Battaglia with FreeWave. Hope you're all doing well. Well, I guess good morning and afternoon, depending on where you're at. We're going to go ahead and get this kicked off. I'm going to help moderate. I'll give a little introduction and pass this over to Chris Taylor. But uh, welcome to the channel-focused Zoom Edge launch webinar. As many of you know, the Zoom Edge is our next generation launch in our Zoom platform, combining 900 megahertz edge computing and stackable I.O. Now, this section is meant specifically for our channel partners so that we can ensure we get you the product details, allow you guys a chance to ask questions, and just overall make sure you guys have what you need prior to the launch date. So if there's anything that we don't cover today, certainly reach out to us and we'll make sure we're prepped. And today, we're not just introducing a new product, but uh, what is likely a new name to many of you. So Chris Taylor came on board late last year. Uh, he's responsibilities for product line management with our hardware product line. So uh, hopefully, he'll be a household name for you guys here pretty soon. Um, this is Chris's first of many product announcements this year. So be sure to reach out to your FreeWeb sales contact for uh, details on our upcoming product launches, our external facing, channel facing 2020 roadmap to make sure we get you guys details on what's to come. And lastly, on my end for housekeeping, the session will be recorded. We're going to have everybody on mute and we'll hold some time at the end of the session for questions. So if you do have a question, please uh, submit via the questions box and um, the platform there. And I'll help Chris moderate those as we wrap this up and make sure that everything gets addressed. If for some reason we don't have time to address all questions that come in, we'll certainly reach out to you guys afterward and make sure everything's squared up. So with that, we'll pass this over to Chris and get started. Thanks, Tony. So as Tony said, I am Chris Taylor. I'm the product line manager for hardware here at FreeWave. Uh, I'm in charge of the Zoom Edge launch, and uh, I'm excited to tell you about it. So in this presentation, we'll go over the features of Zoom Edge, uh, the new capabilities the Zoom Edge brings to the Zoom line of products, uh, and so present, present some use cases for the Zoom Edge and the value it can bring to different industries. To start, uh, the Zoom Edge is the newest addition to the Zoom product family at FreeWave. Uh, and as part of, the, part of that line, it has all the features common to the Zoom line. So a FreeWave Z9 900 megahertz radio module with uh, all the data security features uh, that are common to that line. It is also built to operate in a rugged industrial environment. Uh, it's C1D2 certified. And uh, this model comes in a DIN rail mountable case. So the Zoom Edge is pictured at the top left, along with the uh, rest of our uh, Zoom line of products. So the Zoom Edge <coughs> houses a ARM Cortex A8 compute platform uh, running the IQ Linux environment. Uh, and with this product, that IQ Linux environment comes standard at no extra fee. So the compute uh, board on this device uh, is a one gigahertz ARM Cortex-8 uh, processor with 512 megabytes of RAM and a gig of storage. So the, the compute that you expect from this line. <clears throat> the device is also fully over the air compatible with the Zoom line of devices. Uh, so it can integrate natively into existing Zoom Link networks or be used to build standalone networks with IO and intelligence at each layer. So the major features uh, that the Zoom Edge introduces to the Zoom line are first and foremost, uh, scalable IO connectivity. Uh, you can stack the FreeWave IOEX modules on this device and bring IO to your network uh, quickly and easily. And we'll go into that later. Uh, it also includes a standard compute platform and a simple but powerful configuration and programming interface uh, that introduces new possibilities for automation based on sensor data. So the first major feature uh, of the Zoom Edge is the integration of I.O. using the FreeWave IOEX modules. Uh, at the top of this slide, you'll see the Zoom Edge picture. Uh, at the bottom, the Zoom Edge with IOEX modules stacked on top. Uh, up to 15 of these I.O. devices can be connected to the Zoom Edge, uh, 
uh, allowing the user to expand the device up to 180 individual I.O. points. Uh, these IOEX modules can also be configured to power devices, uh, offering a single cable solution uh, for integrating analog or digital sensors. Uh, the IOEX modules come in three different flavors, allowing for customization to any sensor configuration. New sensors can be added and configured in minutes with the sensor data available to, to the network, as well as the onboard compute interface, as soon as they are connected. These IOEX modules they have different configurations and, and different ways that the user can configure them uh, to create new analog in, out, digital in, out, and, and device power source uh, lines on the device. So this is a very powerful solution. This is the power so pull, pull solution that the Zoom Edge offers. Uh, any analog or digital device can be powered and connected directly to the IoT network with no extra hardware or special programs. Once the sensors are connected, the IQ application environment that comes standard with the Zoom Edge opens a wide range of options for intelligence at the edge. Options that include custom and open source applications like Node-RED or OpenPLC, uh, applications from our premier partners, or tools created by FreeWave, such as our upcoming Modbus to MQTT tool, which is currently in beta. Another feature that makes the Zoom Edge quite powerful is the onboard configuration tools. Uh, so once the user has connected, once the user's devices are connected, they can be fully configured and tested with the Zoom Edge configuration tool, which is housed on the device itself and runs in a browser. So there's no need for specialized software or system support, just intuitive configuration through a standard browser interface. So uh, this device and all the Zoom Link devices, uh, the network is managed and configured through the Zoom Link uh, web page, a web page that is served on the device. In the case of the uh, Zoom Edge, the I.O. configuration is available on that exact same web page. So this configuration uh, and adding and uh, changing sensors, uh, as well as reading and writing, uh, is done can be done with that same tool on the device itself, so no programming required. So to elaborate on that, from this simple, uh, or this single configuration page, the user can, can configure up to 15 IOEX modules with up to 12 channels each. Uh, each IO point can be fully characterized with details like uh, pull-ups and pull-downs, output voltage, uh, input range, counting on rising or falling edge, uh, et cetera. Any, any detail that you would want to use to characterize these IO points. Uh, plus all the interface uh, reference information for the IOs is included on the configuration tool, which you'll see on the bottom left of this slide. So that means no looking up Modbus information from the reference manual. The information is all available on the config page. So the Zoom Edge, next to the uh, Modbus information at the bottom left, <clears throat> the Zoom Edge also introduces a new powerful feature for configuring and controlling APIs or controlling IOs in the form of a REST API. So next to the Modbus settings, there are information for the REST API. And in order to standardize and sim simplify the way that programs configure, read and write the Zoom Edge IOs, <coughs> uh, the REST API uh, is used as a standard interface that uses HTTP requests to connect to the IOEX modules. Uh, the REST API interface is a common tool used in networking uh, meaning if the user or any third party wants to write automation or intelligence program that run on the programs that run on the Zoom Edge, uh, they need no specialized knowledge of industrial protocols or tools, just standard knowledge of a, a ubiquitous uh, networking application interface. The REST API and integration programming interface is made possible uh, by the IQ application environment that now comes standard with the Zoom Edge at no extra cost. Uh, so this is all designed to be usable without specialized protocols or tools uh, and can run custom open source and third party applications to give the user a uh, powerful automation capability. The device also comes with access to the FreeWave free GitHub page where we will be releasing tools and solution to com solutions to common needs such as uh, our upcoming Modbus to MQTT tool, which is currently in beta, and more tools to come this year.
So now let's explore the Zoom Edge at the network level and highlight how the Zoom Edge can be used to create efficiencies and solve new problems uh, in industrial networks. So as mentioned at the beginning, uh, Zoom Edge integrates seamlessly with existing Zoom Link networks. Here we see uh, an existing Zoom Link network based on SCADA devices uh, at the top half of the page and in the bottom left, uh, a Zoom Edge endpoint integrated. Uh, you'll notice that what is missing is that extra SCADA device that creates a serial connection. Uh, so with the new I.O. capability, Zoom Edge can connect new sensors directly to the network without relying on extra SCADA, SCADA interface hardware or a serial bus. Uh, you know, this this uh, introduces cost savings and a new level of agility uh, and flexibility to Zoom networks in that the user can add and remove devices quickly and easily. Zoom Edge devices can also be used to create full networks on their own, and this introduces the option for not just I.O. connection, but automation and intelligence at every node of the network. The user can automate the network to make decisions based on sensors at the edge or the gateway or at any point uh, with a combination of data sources <clears throat> available to all the nodes on the network. So in this example, uh, we have the Zoom Edge endpoint making decisions based on its individual I.O. inputs as well as a Zoom Edge gateway making decisions based on the inputs from all of the inputs and controlling a warning indicator in response. So this can introduce a level of automation at any point needed in the network based on whatever information is available from the sensors on the network. On top of decision making at each node, Zoom Edge, Zoom Edge introduces options for intelligence and network management. Uh, in the example on this slide, an MQTT published subscribe interface is implemented as a reporting mechanism, replacing the polling method, allowing, ne <clears throat> excuse me, allowing network, the network to only report critical information. Uh, when that information is needed, rather than having to wait for the network, wait for every device to be polled. So this is useful not only in intelligent networks, but also networks where bandwidth is at a premium uh, because it allows the devices to only report to the cloud the data that is required when it is required. So in summary, the Zoom Edge is designed to solve most the most common integration and automation challenges faced by all types of industrial systems in any industry. <clears throat> Uh, for example, water or wastewater systems that are integrating pressure sensors, flow sensors, or outputs like flow and charge controllers, <clears throat> or other industries like smart ag and oil and gas uh, that implement critical and remote devices uh, to measure things like crop health, crop health, uh, vibration detection, air quality, uh, human presence detection, etc. The Zoom Edge allows for these networks to integrate uh, devices in a flexible, fast, and cost-effective way. This should demonstrate that the Zoom Edge adds business value to IoT network in networks in many ways. It creates time savings, efficiency, reliability, scalability, and enhancement of new and existing investments by giving users the ability to bring new devices to their networks and act on the information those, the information those devices provide. The Zoom Edge will be available May of this year under these part numbers. Uh, the Iowa EX modules are available in three different flavors based on the user's specific IO needs and configurations. Uh, the Iowa EX modules can be mixed and matched as needed to suit the application. Uh, we are taking pre-orders now, and for more information, please contact your account manager or visit freewave.com slash how to buy to be connected with a representative. All right, we'd like to say thanks for taking the time to let us introduce you to the Zoom Edge. Uh, we're excited to be moving FreeWave's product line forward and, and to find out how we can help to solve your, uh, you and your customers' challenges. Uh, I believe I will now be taking questions that Tony has compiled. And, and of course, if you have any questions that, didn't, that I can't answer uh, or come up after the presentation, uh, please reach out at the contract, contact address provided uh, on this last slide and we'll get your, con your questions answered. All right. 
Thank you, Chris. We do have a few questions, but if anybody has anything pop up, um, please type it into the, the question box. The first one, can the Zoom Edge <clears throat> with the I.O. device be configured as a repeater or just a gateway and endpoint? Uh, I can't. Uh, it wasn't explicit on the, the example slide, but uh, the Zoom Edge can be configured as gateway, endpoint, or repeater um, in the exact same way as the rest of the devices in the Zoom line. Uh, and intelligence can be created at that repeater. So it can be uh, used as a repeater with I.O. stacked on. All right, next question. What are the specifications on your analog ins and outs? Do you handle standard industrial signals such as uh, zero to 10 volts and uh, four to 20 million? Uh, we do. So there are a lot of ways to configure the analog in and outs. Um, and the, the reference manual can provide a lot more detail than I can here. But basically, when it comes to analog in and outs, um, the voltage levels are set by the input power source of the device itself. So the zoom edge can be powered from 6 to 30 volts DC. And so say, for example, you are powering the device with 12 volts DC, the uh, analog in and out uh, I.O. points can operate at a range from 0 to 12 volts. So that is set by uh, what, what uh, voltage is powering the device itself. So in it to answer your question, uh, yes, it should be able to handle uh, a continuous range of, of voltage levels for analog applications. Right, great. Um, next question is, does this have an ATEX certificate or is it intrinsically safe? Uh, this is C1D2, so it is not ATEX or intrinsic. Um, it is the next level down uh, class one, division two, uh, I believe the term is uh, incidental contamination environments. Uh, don't quote me on that though. All right, and this one, a uh, bit of a three-part question. What is the anticipated timing on the Modbus to MQTT program full commercial release? Will it be freeware or a bolt-on program purchased separately? And uh, is this available, or will it be available on the Zoom IQ system or only on Zoom Edge? Uh, so I can answer two of those questions. Uh, the MQ, Modbus MQTT tool will be available, it will be free uh, to the IQ system. Uh, it will be uh, available to the IQ system in general, not just the Zoom Edge. So if you have a Zoom link running IQ, uh, you'll be able to run Modbus MQTT, uh, but I'll have to reach out to John to answer the availability question. Hey, Chris, this is John Stratton, and hey, everyone, I'm the product line manager for software, so one of Chris's counterparts. Um, timing is still in the works on that. Um, so you can uh, be in touch with uh, your FreeWave account manager. They'll be in touch with me if you've got more interest on it. Thanks, John. Any other questions, All John? All right. Um, quite a few. How much time do we have? I think we can get it to the half hour. Um, does this device support radius authentication protocol or triple a protocol uh for that question i'm going to have to reach out to greg corey our uh, head of support great thanks guys can everybody hear me here yep sir Cool. So the question was regards to what software packages we can do for protocol conversion. Is that correct? No, it's uh, asking specifically about radius authentication and uh, AAA protocol. So radius authentication uh, is not currently supported, but that is on the product roadmap. Um, that is something that will probably be you know, over the course of the next year, something we include. So not currently supported, but on the roadmap. 
Okay, and that ties into another um, question roadmap related. Uh, is there any roadmap to support CAN bus? Uh, not currently, but there could be some third party software packages that are available. Uh, CAN bus isn't something we typically see requests for. Um, so that's something we can definitely investigate, but it's it's not on the roadmap at this time. Okay. Next question on the list. Can the IOEX modules modules configuration uh, be exported from one zoom edge and imported onto another? That is a good question. Uh, I believe it can. Uh, I am 90% uh sure it can but uh if john has any further information on that uh he may be a, a better source of information than i would i believe that configuration is held hey, hey. In... go ahead john yeah yeah hey hey chris this is john so yeah there is a config file for the zoom edge with the ioex modules so you can download that config file to your computer, uh, upload it to other Zoom Edge devices. So uh, yeah, I think that answers the question. Great, thanks John. All right, and last question on the list, will this presentation be shared? And uh, absolutely, it will be shared. So we'll make sure that uh, it, it's being recorded as well. So we'll make sure that we follow up with all partners. We certainly want to make sure, again, we get everybody the information they need for the product launch. Everybody's comfortable with the product prior to the launch and that uh, all questions are addressed. So with that said, if there are no more questions, thank you, Chris. Thank you, FreeWave team. Thank you, FreeWave partners for taking the time to join. Uh, we're certainly excited about this product. I know a lot of the early feedback we've gotten so far has been incredibly positive. We do have a very, very active roadmap throughout the remainder of 2020. We're definitely eager to talk about it. So uh, reach out to your product manager. We can get the PLMs involved if and when necessary as well. We certainly want to make sure that uh, you guys have access to them and their expertise. So uh, thanks again, and I'm sure we'll be following up with all of you shortly. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, everyone.